Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios and we are going to be attending a private event where we're going to have all of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge to ourselves, including Rise of the Resistance. I am so excited to bring you guys along and have a fun time doing everything over there, including Sabi's and Olga's Canteen and just enjoying a wonderful night at Hollywood Studios. Anywho's, let's go do this. The private event is being hosted by the Diz Family Reunion and it's benefiting Give Kids the World Village. Now this was a three day event where they had a convention at the Contemporary Resort with an unbelievably amazing auction and some special guest speakers. And tonight they're capping it off with the private event right here at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And this is going to be so much fun. I'm excited. I don't even know all the details, but we'll figure it out as we go along. The park is set to close at 8 o'clock. It's 7.30 now. The meetup actually is from 10 p.m. till midnight. 10 p.m. to midnight, and we're gonna have all of Galaxy's Edge, including Rise of the Resistance, like I said, uh, Smuggler's Run, and everything over there should be open. But in the meantime, I figured since we have a little time, maybe we would do a night ride on Slinky Dog Dash, because I haven't done it with the pretty lights on in a while. And uh, yeah, kind of feels good tonight. It is definitely a different experience. Watch, look how the track lights up as Slinky's making his way round. Isn't that so awesome? And it's just, like I said, it's just so beautiful. Oh, there he goes. By the time we get done riding Slinky Dog Dash, the park is gonna close, and I'm wondering if the uh, animation show is actually running tonight because it closes at eight o'clock. And if that's the case, while we're riding, we might see a little fireworks from the uh, Chinese theater. And I think that's kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before from back here, but I just thought it just might happen now. Oh, there they are! It's happening! Whoa! <laughs> out right now and we did get to see a little bit of fireworks I think we just got one burst but the show really doesn't have a lot of fireworks in it to begin with and now I think we'll just head back out near the front of the park and maybe uh, watch the show from there and then uh, we have to get ready for our little uh, private event we might actually catch some firework burst here I can see they've got the lights reach for the sky <laughs> Yeah, it looks like the ending is happening right now, so I figured we'd watch it back here and uh, get a little Jungle Cruise sign in the way. I can hear Mickey talking. park is officially closed and now they're sweeping everybody out and anyone that has a lanyard they're being sent over by Pizza Rizzo and I guess we have to get ready this is time I'm so excited for the night and I can't wait to rise, rise of the resistance and smugglers run and just enjoy I mean this is a great event I am pumped it's cool to see everything so empty and everyone's getting told to actually leave but because we are going to a private event we could actually just stroll back here to an empty park. I mean, this is so awesome. 
I love being in a park when it's like closing time, but we don't have to go. Everyone has to leave. <laughs> it's so much fun. Look at this. It's like you get it all to yourself. This is so awesome seeing everything like this. How you doing? Oh, good, good. Look at that. What a view, huh? <laughs> Beautiful Grand Avenue. I wish Baseline was open because that would be amazing. I mean, but I mean, beggars can't be choosers. We have all of Galaxy's Edge. Before we head back to Galaxy's Edge, they're gonna have like a pre rehearsal snack or dinner session right here at the Backlot Express. And I'm excited because I like to hang out in the Backlot Express and I think it has some complimentary beverages and maybe some snacks too. Now it looks like everybody's gathering out because we're about to head in. A big change from what we've seen before, but this is the most amount of people that's probably gonna be here. So I'm probably more than guessing we're not gonna have to wait for anything. And I got a little nifty surprise for Rise of the Resistance. I can't wait to show you guys. Now it looks like we're getting escorted right on into Galaxy's Edge and we're gonna head straight to Rise of the Resistance. No wait, no boarding group, just right on in. Oh, this is so awesome. We're walking right on into Rise of the Resistance. Okay, so I'm pulling over to the side because everything happened real quick. We were actually in a holding area and they ended up just taking us right on into Rise of the Resistance. So we're about to just go in there and I'm actually in line with Tony Baxter, which is one of the greatest uh, Disney Imagineers of all time. And also Jody Benson, the voice of Ariel. And how cool would it be to be able to ride Rise of the Resistance with them? But we have to get going. So everything's very fast and bada bing, bada boom. But we'll get to the details after the ride. <laughs> that is so amazing. Look at that. And we're going in the fast pass line as well. This is really, really awesome. What a better way to start off a night than just walking right on to Rise of the Resistance. And this is great. Like, I don't know, the event was supposed to start at 10 o'clock, and I believe it is 9.43. So the event actually really hasn't even started yet. Oh, we're heading on in now. This was so amazing how quickly we got on this. I haven't ridden Rise of the Resistance at night at all, ever in my whole entire life. This is the first time I'm seeing it all lit up like this, I think. How awesome is that? Look at BB-8. This is so good. <laughs> Look at this. Wow, I love it. I still get happy every time I see it. <laughs> so amazing. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
Lover's Road, find an alternate route. Who picked these two toys anyway? Detention Long Reach, prisoner Foxy 11 D. just got off rise and I have to be honest I kind of got shy uh, I did get to ride in the same unit as Tony Baxter and uh, I didn't say hi or anything like that I got really shy but I still think that's amazing to ride one of the greatest Disney rides with one of the greatest Disney Imagineers and uh, now we get to just explore and go around and check out everything and we get to come back and ride Rise of the Resistance again and I can't wait to show you what they gave us so they initially just escorted us straight into Batu and right on Rise of the Resistance and then they gave us this nifty little return time for today and we get to come back and ride again. No boarding group, no line, nothing like that. You go right in the fast pass and they said by the end of the night if everything is all used up then we can ride again. So we could ride Rise of the Resistance up to three times tonight and I think that is well worth it. Three times in two hours. I can't even get it and everything tonight all the tickets and everything that you know people have donated and helped support uh give kids the world so it's all going to such an amazing magical place and uh, it's worth it at the same time so donate to a, a wonderful cause and have a great time at hollywood studios it is a very humid night out so uh instead of fighting with the glasses i decided to just take them off i probably look super weird but it's okay now we're just gonna explore around it's starting to rain a little bit i know that we can walk into olga's and we can also do smugglers run and uh yeah i don't know just see what else we could do because this is like such a, a fun event now this is the end of the event i'm gonna put all the information in the description below so maybe when they do it next year if you guys are interested in checking it out you could but yeah i think this is so much fun <laughs> looks like we've got some nice spots we can grab some drinks and also some food they're handing out. Oh, and it looks really, really awesome. So we're actually gonna get a look here and see what they're offering. Oh, wow, I'm excited. I mean, just looking at it, it looks like it's something fancy. Oh, look at, they're pouring in the liquid nitrogen there. I don't know what this is, but it's got me uh, super excited. Look at this. So it looks like we've got a uh, caramel crunch liquid nitro spun uh, cloud drop. Okay, do we just take one and go? Take one and go. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you. <laughs> this is really awesome. A couple more desserts, like I said. They've got mixed berries, they've got uh, some nectos. I don't know, they, they all look really, really fancy here. I'm going to try grabbing everything, a little bit of everything, because we're going to try it all. I don't have a plate though. I'm gonna grab this, and then one of these fancy cookies, right here. There we go. 
and I'll put it on a napkin and we'll make our way. So I got one of everything and I wasn't able to read it uh, because like I said, there's lines so I was kind of just like going through it and I don't want to hold up people behind me. So uh, I just took a quick picture and now we're going to try each one and it's all free. It's like a little mini dessert party in Batu, and that's kind of, that's kind of really, really awesome. So this was the ice cream and then this was the mudslide and then they had the plant-based uh, spice cream dessert. Uh, and I think that was this one right here. I'm gonna go with the ice cream first because I don't want it to melt, but it's really cool because it has like little uh, waffle cone crispies in there. Wow, I look so weird without my glasses and without a hat on. I'm bald! <laughs> like this is a shocker. And uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a try here. Now I think I'll dive into the mudslide. That's a little bit next. I should have grabbed two spoons because now I'm missing, I'm mixing up the mudslide with the uh, ice cream. I'm sure it's going to be a good combination though. Who knows? <laughs> this is why I have to keep taking my glasses off the second I put them on my face. Bada bang, just like that. And I can't see anything at all. I can't see without them and I can't see with them all fogged up. So I guess we're just eating blind. <laughs> I liked all of the desserts and I also noticed that all of the shops are actually open in here too. So you can do all of your Star Wars shopping and you can even build a lightsaber. So no reservation needed to go into Sabi's. You can just go in and actually build a lightsaber. I think that's very fun and interesting. We've already done Rise of the Resistance. So the next thing I want to do is Olga's Canteen. So I think we're going to head down there and check out the situation and then maybe Smuggler's Run. Look at this. Oh wow. This is also amazing to come and be able to take photos. Wow. It is so beautiful back here at night. I always forget about it. But wow, that's really awesome. And now let's see what it's like here at Olga's. Do we get to just walk in or what's the deal here? Wow, this is so awesome. It's just hanging out at Olga's Canteen and I am happy about it. I think I'm gonna get myself a fuzzy tauntaun. I think I'm gonna start off with the Gold Squadron instead of the fuzzy tauntaun, but I am gonna get the fuzzy tauntaun because I feel like it's a tradition anyways. So cheers, cheers to Batu. It's gonna be the last drink you ever have. <laughs> are, you ready? are you ready for this? I'm ready for that. Listen, before I had one, I was six foot two. Look at me now. <laughs> oh, there's a good thing I cannot feel my face. It's not really fuzzy then. It's not fuzzy anymore. <laughs> it's not fuzzy anymore. <laughs> fuzzy gone, gone pretty soon. <laughs> good luck. You are going to need it. Thank you. <laughs> so I went from my gold squadron to the fuzzy tauntaun. They put it in a to-go cup. I'm not too sure why, but I love the way he presented this. And if you guys have never had this before, it makes your face numb. And I'm excited to feel numb. So <laughs> I definitely feel like when you get it in a to-go cup, you end up getting more of the thing that it makes your uh, like lips like tingly. Because look at how much more that is than on the regular glass. And I already feel it. I feel my uh, lips like completely pins and needles. And it's such a crazy effect. Oh, DJ Rex is starting to boogie here. <laughs> that is awesome. What a cool atmosphere. I'm having the greatest time ever. Now I think we're going to head on over and do Smuggler's Run. And then Rise of the Resistance again. How awesome is that? Like, I, I, I didn't think I could ever say that in one night here. Like, it maybe we might do Rise of the Resistance three times. Who knows? But this has been, ter this is literally so much fun. I decided to grab my fuzzy tauntaun and take it on the road with me. And now we're just kind of hanging out here and uh, enjoying an empty galaxy's edge. Look at they even have the stormtroopers out. This is really cool. The milk stand is open. I think uh, the milk stand you have to pay for though. I noticed most of the alcohol and things that are premium you have to buy. The desserts are all free though. And the blue milk is free. I didn't know it was free. That was like fresh from the bamboo. Oh really? Yeah. That is fancy. Now what if I mix the fuzzy tauntaun with the blue milk? Cool. That might be an interesting one, but I would feel that way. Yes. What about if you mix the green and the blue? 
Oh, I've done that. I've lived dangerously before. Yeah. <laughs> I do. It's definitely unique. Yes, I'm gonna do it. Oh, excellent. Now I don't know what to do. <laughs> now I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a little blue. And then a little green. Fresh from the band and the seesaw. Oh, that's the way. Now, do we mix it up or do we just drink it like that? Oh, just drink it. Oh, just drink it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shots, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're trying it just like this. Here we are. Woo! That was for you. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That was really, really awesome. I <laughs> loved that. And all of the cast members were absolutely amazing. But now I think we're gonna try to ride Smuggler's Run. But can we talk about how awesome it is that you can have endless amounts of milk? And I love the fact that they were kind of encouraging me to mix the blue and green and then like drink a shot of it. I think that's so amazing. That's worth the price alone. I ran into some friends, Corey, Corey Meets World, and Steve, Steve's World, all things fun. <laughs> and we're gonna pilot the Millennium Falcon. Look at that. Oh, nice. All right, who's my two pilots? Oh, that's me. How have we done this before? We just did. Yep. Didn't hit a thing. 9,000 points. No more was a splash. Well, that's something that looks a little, looks a little rough. They did the best they could. Huh? So you know that's out of 13,000, right? Nine out of 13? 9,000 is good. <laughs> All right, load up, load up. I pressed your button. Time is money. All right, now. There we are. This is going to be different. I'm not usually the left pilot. Oh, boy. No pressure. Now, <laughs> A very fun ride on Smuggler's Run. I think it's time for Rise of the Resistance for our second time of the night. Over there. We're gonna scan anyway. Nope. <laughs> Look at this. Look at our group now. There's nobody here. We're all just like we got all rides to ourselves. This is great. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? We got it all to ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, they're apart. They're with us. <laughs> I know, it's so nice to see it at night. And BB-8 up there. Black leader, we're picking up an unusual signal. Oh boy. Be strong, Nate, be strong. Assistant sympathizers, your transport has been captured. You are now under the command of General Hux and the First Order. 
Your mission has failed. You'll exit the transport, proceed to the right down the hallway for processing and interrogation. Everyone off the shuttle now. Move along. The door is opening. Yeah, I always think about the Willy Wonka. <laughs> Well, it was opening. It will open in time. It's broken! <laughs> Save us! Oh! Oh! Save us! No! <laughs> Don't worry, with the resistance and we're here to rescue. Let's go, we gotta go. We gotta go. Right, so you're left, you're right <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of comments because I went over to walk to the cell that we have right now. I, I feel that way. We appreciate We appreciate all of you for saving us. <laughs> We're so funny. Who knows the location of a secret base? Okay. He does. I'm not going to say anything. Oh, we're going up the other way. I love it. This is a good one. Rise of the Resistance twice in just two hours and we could have just rode again because they weren't actually checking for the tickets that I showed you at the end of the night they were just letting people on so if we were there just a minute maybe or three minutes earlier we probably would have made it get off and just go right back on but by the time we got off it was exactly like 1201 or 1202 so we missed it but still not too bad at all as we were walking out they just had all of these Rise of the Resistance fast passes or return times sitting on the table and they were letting people just take some so look at I ended up leaving with a bunch of awesome amazing things look at I, I think this is so cool I think these are actually amazing look at that and fast passes for rise of the resistance just laying around on the ground there you go <laughs> all yours Corey the golden I have a golden ticket <laughs> And with that, I think I am done here tonight. What an amazing evening I had. Oh, I'm fogging up already. I told you, as soon as I put the glasses on, just complete fog up. But, anywho's, like I said, this was such a fun, fun night. And uh, yeah, I can't believe I got to ride Tony, uh, Rise of the Resistance with Tony Baxter. That was really, really awesome. I wish I wasn't so shy and I said hi, but maybe next time I'll see him around. He was also at the convention signing autographs and doing some speaking. So overall, this three-day event was so, so cool. And thank you to the Diz for putting it together. And uh, like I said, everything went to give kids the world. It was well worth it. If they end up doing this again next year, I am definitely going to be doing it. I think it was so much fun so worth it and for such an amazing cause anywho's i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we will see you next time bye and as we get to actually walk out we get a uh, empty hollywood studios all to ourselves isn't that so cool all right i'm leaving but thanks guys good night good night, good night. <laughs>